Uh, Professor Greg Cummins again with you, calculating the potential from a um, set of charges. This relates to the OpenStax Physics Chapter 19 material. Um, and in doing this uh, calculation, I've set up three charges a charge of minus three nanocoulombs at the two centimeter location, a charge of two nanocoulombs at 12 centimeters and a charge of 4 nanocoulombs on the negative y-axis at a uh, position of 6 centimeters below the origin. And we want to know the potential at the 30 centimeter location. Well, we know that we can add up the potentials from uh, single point charges uh, just as scalars. So this net potential um, at the 30 centimeter mark is going to be simply the potential due to charge 1 plus potential due to charge 2 plus potential due to charge 3. Each potential will be calculated with the constant k, uh, the charge value, and the distance to that charge. So that's our setup. We uh, proceed to make substitutions for v1, v2, and v3. And each of these will be k and Q over R, so there's a Q1 over R1, there's Q2 over R2, Q over R3. I factored out the K here and uh, we'll do the calculation with the Qs divided by their respective R values. Um, so putting in the values, this uh, negative 3 nanocoulombs, it is important to include the minus sign. From 30 centimeters back to 2 centimeters, that's 28 centimeters of distance. 0.28 meters is the number we need to use. And again, nano is 10 to the minus 9, so I've included that. Um, from the, for the 2 nanocoulomb charge, from the 30 centimeter position back to the 12 centimeter position, that's a distance of 18 centimeters. And then we have here a need for Pythagorean theorem. We need this straight line distance from the 6 centimeters to uh, on the y-axis to the 30 centimeter on the x-axis. So I have to do a little calculation in here. Uh, the short side of 6 centimeters squared, and I'm using meters, uh, plus the 0.3 meters, the long side of this right triangle. Not the longest, that's the hypotenuse. But And square root of that, that gives us the length of the hypotenuse. I didn't bother calculating that separately. And it has a uh, 4 nanocoulomb charge down there. So calculating those numbers, um, again, you might want to calculate them for yourself, pause, and compare to mine. Uh, minus 1.01, minus 1.0714 times 10 to the minus 8, 1.11111 times 10 to the minus 8, 1.3074 times 10 to the minus 8. Uh, combine the numbers inside the parentheses, paying attention to the minus sign here. This negative charge has a, a negative potential and multiply through by the 9 times 10 to the ninth. I got 121.2 volts. Hope that's right. Let me know if you think it's different. Um, that would be the potential at the 30 centimeter location. Um, and notice, you know, it's not like an electric field problem or a force problem where you have to use sine and cosine components due to the effect of this charge. That charge creates a potential. We just add them up. They're scalars. Now, how much work would be required to move a charge of minus 5 nanocoulombs from the 30 centimeter location out to infinity? Well, we know the work is Q times delta V, the change of potential. So we're going to need the potential infinity. Well, at infinity, we are going to be using a, uh, an R value of infinity for all of these charges. So each of the charge contributes zero potential at infinity. They have zero plus zero plus zero. These are all infinity. And one infinity is as good as another. The infinity to the uh, two nanocoulomb, the minus three nanocoulomb, the four nanocoulomb, that's just a distance of infinity. So each of these is a zero. We are both, our potential at infinity is a zero. So our calculation for Q delta V, I said we have a minus 5 nanocoulomb charge that we want to move. That's the Q. Our change in potential is potential at the final location minus potential at the starting location. We get that. And I come up with a work value of 6.06 .06 times 10 to the minus 7 joules. 
Um, that's what I'm getting for the work number to move this minus 5 nanocoulomb charge when it starts at the 30 centimeter location and then we move out to infinity. So 6.06 .06 times 10 to the minus 7 joules.